Hi, I'm here with my friends Carolyn and Penny. We're going to be distilling some lavender today. Carolyn actually lives nearby and she's a fellow lavender grower and has come here to Carmel Lavender today to distill her lavender into oil. And Penny is, is a friend that's interested in how the process works. So Carolyn, we distilled your oil last year here at Carmel Lavender. Tell us what you did with it. Well, last year um, I found there was a lot more hydrosol than there was the actual oil. Uh -huh. But the oil I took over to Elizabeth and she showed me how to make soap. Okay, so you made soap out of all the oil that we made for you last and, year? And lotion bars. Looks like the lotion bars and the soap were a big hit. Penny, were you able to partake in any of the soap or lotion last year? Yeah. Did the lotion bar and the soaps. And they were, the lotion bar is absolutely wonderful. It's just amazing how it just soaks into your skin and it's really hydrating. Yeah, and then it, the sheets get full of the yeah, oil in it. Yeah, so put like it on at night. It like fish. Yeah, put it on at night before you go to bed. Put it on your legs, put it on your arms. And okay, so now let's go ahead and put the basket into the boiler. And so what I'm going to do ladies and I'm going to put it in the basket. Now when I put it in the basket I I stand it up like this and the reason is because I found that if you stand the lavender in the basket straight up like that the steam goes through it more evenly Definitely. and distributed and I get more oil out of the lavender. Find the distillery. Let's see how we place the lavender into the boiler and get it ready for the distillation. Yeah, the hydrosol, you can use it as a steaming facial. So it's like, it's almost like eucalyptus going up your nose, you know. Oh, that is a strong. wonderful facial. Yeah, it has a good scent, doesn't it? Yeah. So here we are, we've got now the basket full of lavender, actually here in the boiler. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on top. This is a copper, um, this is copper wire, actually. And they found that when they moved from copper stills, over to stainless steels, the oil lost the quality to it, and it wasn't quite as smooth. So somehow the oil reacts coming in contact with the copper. You can see here actually turn this copper almost a silvery kind of rainbow. Yeah, and, and oh, that's yeah. all you need, just a little bit of copper. Just a little bit. In fact, in the lid, right here in this cone, this is stuffed with copper um, wool, actually, as well. Oh. So all the steam that comes out will have to be in contact. So now let's take a look at the condenser and see how that works. Now the lavender is steaming in the boiler and it's coming out through that hose I showed you and coming into this device here. And this device is a condenser. So the condenser actually takes the steam and brings it back to a liquid. And then it comes out at the bottom and we separate the oil from the water. This is the brains of the separator. This is what separates the water or the hydrosol from the oil. As the oil rises up to the top, the water settles on the bottom. Eventually, this will push the column of oil up over the top of this tube and it'll cascade over the side. Now the oil will be caught here and I'll be able to decant it into bottles using this valve and this hose. And here we can see the oil in the separator. See the bubbles of oil rising? Kind of like a lava lamp. The separator separates the oil from water in the traditional way. The oil floats to the top and rises there while the water sinks to the bottom. Alright, so we finished the distillation process. It looks like we got about, what did we say, 70 milliliters of oil? What do you think? Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah, yeah. Ah, that's Do you like it? Yes, it's yeah. wonderful. Good. All right. Exciting. Well, yeah, now, uh, that's great. Now you get to play with it. You're yeah. ready to make <laughs> yourself some lunch? Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you for joining us here as we distilled our lavender. We enjoyed having you and we hope you found that this was interesting and enlightening and educational. Please join us again and if you'd like to try some of our lavender oil, you can find it on www.carmellavender.com.